Welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video. We sell all the coolest Japanese collectibles and figurines straight out of Japan. And you can find out more details about us in the description of this video, including our Facebook page and our online store. And uh, we definitely appreciate you supporting the channel. Uh, it's always hard to get uh, you know views on YouTube, and at the end of the day, that's why we make these videos. So uh, yeah, if you can uh, you know share or like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff would be much appreciated. So in this video I'm going to show something uh, very special because it's something that I'm sure that anybody old enough would remember very fondly and that is some vintage Pokemon cards. But not just any old vintage Pokemon cards. These are the original base, jungle and fossil complete sets in Japanese. So yeah, as I said, it's something that I'm sure everyone will remember. And the purpose of this video really is more just to kind of just ramble, I guess, to be honest with you. Just show the cards. I'm sure this brings back a lot of memories for a lot of people. Uh, I have made a separate video actually talking about some of the differences between the, um, the Japanese version and the English version. So you can check that video out if you want. There are actually quite a few differences, even though they look the same. Just how it was released and all that sort of stuff. Um, is uh, it, it is? I think you'll definitely learn something from that if you want to check that out in uh, in the other video. Um, but uh, yeah, so in this video, I'll just talk about my my memories of these. Uh, so firstly, these Japanese cards actually came out in 1996, but I think in the West they came out in 1998. But at least where I lived, I I remember them in 1999 distinctly. That's when. People, I don't know if that's when they actually started selling where I lived, or but that's definitely when people started collecting them. And they were so, so popular. I mean, there were different fads, even as a kid, like marbles, yo-yos, things like that. But there was nothing like Pokemon cards. It was next level, man. And it was so, it became so popular that the schools actually banned Pokemon cards. And I remember even as a kid, even loving Pokemon cards, I was like, maybe that's kind of for the best. Because it was such a distraction. All you were thinking about in class was lunchtime. So you could swap and trade and collect them. And, you know, some kids actually got their cards stolen. And even back in the day, I remember Charizard. Because even back then, everyone wanted the Charizard. Was selling for like $40. And I remember as a kid just going, that's crazy. $40 for a card. Which in today's money is probably like $60 plus. Which <laughs> would probably still be a good purchase. Or investment, but um, yeah, so they actually banned them, uh, which is which is pretty uh, which is pretty crazy. And the funny thing to me is, some people actually say, "Oh, I wish I could go back in time and buy a set and hold on to them," but the even back then you just couldn't get them because as soon as shops got the packs, they would just sell out. And the only re way I was actually able to get any decent cards was a friend of mine who was hardcore into collecting these uh, sort of tipped me off that because uh, we sort of live near the Nintendo distribution office and, um, yeah, and I didn't know this but at the back there was like this little shop which was really more for repairs and stuff where people could drop things off but uh, they actually sold Pokemon cards as well and games and uh, I still remember getting five packs from there and I pulled a Blastoise, Zapdos and Raichu and I still have them, I'll show them to you and my sister, she got three packs and she pulled a Charizard, which was so funny because she was just, you know, she wasn't really into Pokemon. She was just kind of getting on the fad. And uh, here's this little girl with like the rarest card. But anyway, let's go into, let's have a look into the card. So I've actually mixed them all up. Um, there's the Blastoise that I meant. That is the actual one that I pulled back in 1998. Um, so I've ordered these by their Pokemon number. Uh, because that's the only way you can sort of get the three evolution stages. So for example here, Caterpie, Metapod, Butterfreeze, Jungle, these two are base. So to me, this just made the most sense uh, to display them this way. Um, interesting how these are not uh, hollows, so not all of the third stage Pokemon were hollows. And then you've got Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. I actually pulled a non-hollow of those in the English version, which... Uh, you can see there. Uh, so I cover this more in the, as I said, the info video, but there were no non-holo versions of holos in the Japanese version, and there was a whole reason for that as well. Uh, two Pikachus, of course, base set and jungle. 
Um, there's also been like in the English version after many years, people have figured out things like there was the Red Cheeks Pikachu, which was uh, in you know based on the the actual earlier prints of that uh, had red cheeks. There's the Raichu that I pulled from 1998. Raichu also has two uh, two versions. So this is the fossil version. Which set is your favorite? I actually would probably have to say, for me, it's Fossil. Because, I mean, base set is... I mean, if you take the three starters away, it's not that great. And, you know, jung I mean, Jungle's cool, but I think Fossil, for me, is probably uh, my favorite set. Um, Clefairy and Clefable, so both of those are hollows. Base and Jungle, of course. Vulpix... And Nine Tails, very cool. Uh, so Nine Tails actually comes from a mythical uh, Japanese creature. Um, so I'm sure Naruto fans would also know that I love the artwork. That's one of the artworks I really like. I like that artwork too. Actually, in fact, I mean a lot of the artwork is just really awesome in these. And I remember actually even with Nidoran. And uh, can I show this? Yeah, like even as a kid learning different things, how like this symbol means male and this symbol means female, like I didn't know all those things. What's your favorite starter? For me, I mean, I understand people like Charizard. I mean, he's cool and the card itself is pretty cool. I love that artwork too. That's probably one of my favorites. But I personally, uh, my favorite Pokemon was always Venusaur and Tangela or Tangela, depending how you pronounce it. Uh, so I always liked Venusaur, but I think even out of Charizard and Blastoise, I liked Blastoise better because, I mean, he's a turtle with cannons in him. I mean, how cool is that, man? So, and I think also just because everyone liked Charizard, I was like, mm. I mean, he's not that great. But it's crazy even now how, how much more the Charizard is worth than some of the others. I love the artwork. That's a pretty cool artwork too. This is probably my favorite artwork, actually, of any of them, because my grandparents live on a farm, and it kind of reminds me of that, just very flat for miles and miles. The stars look so beautiful at night, and you see the trees, like the trees really hang out on the landscape, so I always liked that artwork there. Um, that was the first jungle, I mean, yeah, this is the first jungle card I got, and I love the artwork of that weeping bell. I have no idea why Golem was never a hollow, especially since Haunter is actually a hollow in the fossil. And especially since Haunter is also in base. I don't know why they love Haunter so much. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool artwork too. Um, what's this guy's name? Electron? Electrode? Uh, sorry, Magnemite? Magneton. That's right, Magneton. So, again, the fossil version is so much cooler than the original base, in my opinion, anyway. Love to know what you guys think. What was your favorite card? What was the one that you were always trying to get back in the day? Was it the Char? That's another cool artwork. Was it the Charizard? Was it another one? What was your favorite set? You know, leave any comment about your memory. So there's that uh, fossil hollow haunter. Um, Gengar actually, Gengar was the other one I really liked. Gengar, Tangela or Tangela, and uh, Venusaur. I think I used to say Tangela back in the day, but, um, but yeah, Kingla, again, why two versions of him, I don't know, but that's the jungle, so the jungle version had, that's also rare, in the base, so that's a pretty cool one, I love that artwork too, actually, that's a really cool one. But I think probably my very... Well, I said my favorite was probably Abra with artwork. But the other one I really like is Omanite, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, Monjara is the Japanese version from of Tangela. So maybe it is Tangela because it's Monjara. I don't know. Um, Mr. Mime, Scythe. That's probably one of the cooler jungle ones. Magma, Magma's pretty badass. Pinsa, probably one of the other cooler jungle jungle ones. Giruda, that's so funny, he's like this stupid fish and then he becomes like this awesome dragon. 
Ditto. These are probably, some people probably say this is the best in jungle. I'd probably, I wouldn't disagree. It's pretty badass, pretty hard to show um, in the light, but just so badass, man. And there's that Omanite. Love that one. I remember back in the day, I actually bought that card uh, because it was so hard then to collect. So there's the Zapdos, Fossil Zapdos. Um, because, yeah, you couldn't, like, it was so hard to trade with your friends then because they were banned. So by the time the Fossil came out, it was pretty hard. So I actually went out. There's the, the exact one I bought back in the day. I paid, like, two bucks. It was, like, three bucks now for a comic card. There's the Zapdos I pulled back in the day. Uh, Moltres. And... Uh, then we'll go to the trainer cards. I'll go through these fairly quick because I'm trying to keep the video as short as possible. But some of these trainer cards were actually quite hard to get, some of the rares. So there's some of the rare ones. So there's still based, so many in the base set to get. And then the jungle, so that was the only jungle trainer card. And then the fossil. I love that card too, just showing the different fossils. So uh, yeah, and then the energies. There's the energies, and then I may as well just quickly show you some uh, other random cards I've got. So these were some promo cards. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure it brought back a lot of memories for you. Uh, make sure you leave a comment to say which, uh, you know, some of your memories from back in the day, and which was your favorite set, which was your favorite Pokemon, which was your favorite card. Uh, it's amazing how, you know, people will still feel so fondly about these after all these years. And, uh, yeah, make sure you check out some of the other videos on this channel. So, yeah, looking forward to reading your comments. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.